Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodemo, and over there is Christopher Draves. Uh, yes, we are on Zoom again, folks. Uh, reason hey, 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 you didn't want me to say hi, people. You cut me off before I had a chance to say, hey, people. It's a... Anyway, we, go. Do you we are on Zoom because I am currently rearranging my home. Um, that has been a full day process. It will not be done until tomorrow. So there. Therefore... He likes you guys knowing how poor I am. Look at my room that I'm in. <laughs> all right well you can uh support our uh, podcast by going over to our buddies at hockey locker yes yeah, so you can go to hockey locker 2002 west Howard avenue milwaukee wisconsin you <laughs> um you could call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockey locker milwaukee.com tell them that we sent you don't like that Yes, yes, they will. You could also help support the Milwaukee Admirals by going to MilwaukeeAdmirals.com or you could buy one of their hockey jerseys at Hockey Locker's store right here in Milwaukee at 2002 West Howard Avenue. You can also order these jerseys on Milwaukee Admirals' uh, website. Yes, um, there's a direct link to their store. Yeah, just uh, click on uh, Ads Gear. and It'll take you to where all their merchandise is. You can request a uh, pickup or a uh, do- just mail it to you. You can also buy season tickets for the 2021-22 season. Yeah, for the pickup, you have to email the email that they'll uh, have on the little screen. And yeah, because you have to arrange to make sure somebody's there to be able to hand you your stuff. Correct. All right. So Look at us. We're plugging the admirals like we have to. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Um. So today the uh, Florida... Everblades. Everblades played the Orlando Solar Bears. I got you, Dan. I got you. It's been a rough day for you, man. I got you. Been a long one. Um, yeah. Uh, the only reason I stumbled there is I almost said Panthers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, the Preds just had a back-to-back series against the Panthers for the Florida Everblades fans that did not watch our Preds videos. So, um, shots. Uh, shots on goal were 10-8 for Florida in the first. Uh, then in the second, it was 14-11 Florida. Third period, it was 12-6 for Orlando. Uh, Orlando outshot is 31-30. Um, Orlando was 0-4 for 4 on the power play, and uh, Florida was 0-2. for 2. Um, uh, Orlando had eight penalty minutes, and Florida had 12. Yeah. Um, scoring in, in the first period, nothing. Nothing. Scoring in the second period, welcome back, Hugo Wall. Hugo Wall scored his first goal for the Everblades this year with an assist from uh, Nogard and uh, Matt Petgrave. Um, then in that was at the 412 mark of the second. At the 836 mark, no guard scored his second of the year with an assist from Logan Rowe and Hugo Waugh. So Waugh returned the favor. Um, then also scoring in the second at the 1915 mark was John McCarron with his ninth w- with an assist from Leif Kokoper. And- Congratulations, John McCarron. That was his 100th career ECHL goal at the Everblades. Um, and, He's uh, like one of five Everblade players to hit the 100 mark. All right, Dan, go. And Matt Downing. Uh, then scoring in the third at the 1822 mark for Orlando uh, was uh, Aaron Luchuk. Oh, wait, sorry, Spencer. Matthew Spencer. Spencer yeah. Matthew Spencer scored his first with an assist from Aaron Luchuk and uh, Pinnich. Um, then scoring with literally a second left yep, was still was Joe Pendenza with an empty net with assist from Leif Kokoper and Matt Petgrave. Uh, in net tonight were um, uh, Devin Cooley. He stopped 31 of 30, or he stopped 30 of 31, sorry. And uh, uh, Matt Lackey stopped uh, 26 of 30. Uh, your three stars of the game are, uh, third star was no guard. Second star was Hugo Wa. Uh, first star was Devin Cooley. Um, your referees were Sean McFarlane. Uh, your linesmen were Brandon Fagan and 
Jason Lorty. Um, your attendance at Hertz Arena was 3,275. Um, up next for the Everblades, they play the South Carolina Stingrays on uh, Wednesday. Uh, I believe that game is at 6 o'clock Central Time, 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Anything you'd like to add, Chris? Uh, no, nah, it was a solid game. I actually think the Everblades are improving given the circumstances. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the rest of the year. Uh, it's good that they're playing a different team instead of Orlando all the time. Now we get three games consecutively against South Carolina starting the 10th. Yeah. It's just one of them seasons, man. Just one of them seasons. It's too early to get happy, but uh, also too early to get upset at the same time. And I would also like to give a congratulations to Green Bay Packers quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, for winning the MVP. Woo! Congratulations, A Rod. Also, congratulations to all the NFLers that were named to the uh, NFL Hall of Fame. Uh, Most for us, notably, Charles Woodson. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, for us, we are, uh, it, as we have always said, we're based here in Milwaukee, so we're diehard Green Bay fans. Um, and uh, uh, for us, that MVP and Charles Woodson in the same night, that means a lot to our uh, fan-owned organization. I'm still kind of bummed out Leroy Butler is not in the NFL Hall of Fame, but he'll get there eventually. But that's good to see Woodson. Yes, and uh, also uh, we wish uh, good luck to the Chiefs and Patriots. Or, sorry, <laughs> see what, what I did there? Buccaneers. Oh, oh. Get it? Brady was a Patriot. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be watching the Super Bowl. I might pop in for a quarter or two. But ever since that elimination two weeks ago, I've been kind of off the NFL wagon right now. <laughs> but um, also, uh, as far as that, I want to give a, a golf clap here to uh, Nogard. A plus three, Hugo Wall. Plus two, Alex Kyle. Plus two, Logan Wall. Alex plus... Kyle is a really good player. I like that. Um, uh, the, on the flip side, uh, Langan and LeBanc, uh, both minus two over there. Um, team total, the Everblades were plus 16, and the uh, Orlando Solar Bears were minus 15. Yeah, but I feel bad for Cooley tonight because he had a shutout going into the third period, and then he gives it up with a minute 38 left in the game. He was so close to a shutout. Man, yeah, yeah, that was heartbreaking, dude. I was rooting for him. He had a three zip heading into the third. There was a minute 38 left, and all of a sudden he just coughs up that fluke goal. And uh, yeah, I feel bad for him. He almost got a shutout. I would also like to give a uh, congratulations to Michael Huntebreaker, who is tied currently for the lead in the ECHL in goals. Yeah, that's kind of why I wanted to cover uh, some of the uh, stats because we have Everblade players like in the top 10. So, yeah. Um. Anyway, I would like to give our top fans because it is the end of the week for us. It's yeah. Friday. Get it? It's a joke. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Anyway, um, uh, this is our last video of this week. So our top fans this week, and we want to say thank you to Kevin Daniels. You are our top fan for three weeks. Tommy LaFleur, top fan for a month. Uh, Brian Turner, top fan for three months. And Barbara Ewing Bowman, three months. Congratulations and thank you to, for all your support. It means so much to us over there on Facebook, all the time. It'd also fans. be nice if you could support us over on YouTube, you know, give us a subscribe, click that little bell to get notified when we post videos. Correct. And uh, thank you for watching. This has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. We will see you guys Monday with the Nashville Predators and, and Tampa Bay Light. See y'all later. Peace. Cool. Why is it still say we're recording?